retro PS1 style graphics have had a renaissance at the indie landscape. However, having a retro look does not guarantee a great game. Thankfully, today I am going to talk to you about a game that not only features this type of graphics, it also features a solid horror story with some outstanding music and sound design. Hi everyone, my name is Jeremy and this is my non-spoiler review for Janitor Bleeds for PC on Steam. Janitor Bleeds was developed by Corpus and I have to thank the publisher Bonus Stage Publishing for the review code. Janitor Bleeds follows the story of a nameless protagonist who has a car accident and in his search for help, he finds an abandoned arcade. There, he starts noticing weird things happening and everything seems to be related to a mysterious arcade cabinet called the Janitor. However, you are not alone. There's an evil entity that lurks in the shadows and you must try to solve the mystery of what is happening while you evade getting killed by that entity. Janitor Bleeds is a paradigmatic example of how to tell a mystery horror story. The game's story and story presentation are without a doubt its strongest point. The game narrates its story with your typical documents scattered here and there and with some really good environmental storytelling and scripted sequences that ooze a lot of atmosphere and hook you into the mystery of the game. On top of this, the story is very well paced, starting slowly and ramping up as you get closer to the truth. So let's talk about the visuals of Janitor Bleeds. This game features some retro style PS1 graphics that look really good and give a sense of a nostalgia proper to the arcade setting in which it takes place. The old arcade is small but it captures the aesthetics of all arcade places. The mix of the story with the look of the setting really comes together to make the abandoned arcade an interesting place to explore despite its simplicity. In what regards to the specs of the game, the game has some very low requirements. However, the frame rate is very unstable. My PC had more than enough RAM and CPU to run the game without problem, and despite of that and the fact that I played with low graphical settings, the frame rate was very unstable. The game ran at an unstable frame rate at 1080p with the setting options allowing the player to choose between low, medium, and high graphical settings. So let's talk about music and sound design. This game's story and atmosphere is taken up to another level by the awesome music and sound design that it has. The game focuses on atmospheric noises at first and some music at key points and events. The game does an incredible use of its sound design with little details, like for example, being in complete silence in the arcade and all of a sudden hearing at the distance the music of the janitor arcade cabinet as if it was drawing you to it. Or like when you're playing the janitor cabinet, you start hearing weird noises as if a monster was breathing down your neck, creating this sense of danger and that something is wrong here. When music plays, it's to generate suspense or for an intense chase sequence with the entity. All of this comes together with the story and visuals to create an awesome horror experience. In terms of gameplay, Janitor Bleeds is a first person adventure horror game. In the game, you can crouch or lay down completely on the floor. You can pick up items that will help you explore your environment, like for example, the flashlight and keys to open new paths. The focus of the game is exploration and experiencing the story as you play through it. In that sense, Janitor Bleeds is a very narrative-focused linear game. The key mechanic of the game is playing the Janitor Cabinet, which allows you to play a very low-poly arcade game where you clean stuff up. However, as you advance through the game, you will notice that what you do in the cabinet affects your surroundings. This created some very interesting cool puzzles to solve and added more and more to the mystery of the janitor cabinet. 
Janitor Bleeds is a short game, lasting around 2 hours depending on how fast you play through it. So let's talk about the weak points and the strong points of the game. The only critique that I have for this game is the frame rate. The frame rate is very unstable and it takes away from the experience. Each time the frame rate drops, especially if you are running away from the entity, the controls get sluggish and it doesn't feel very good. Hopefully this gets repaired with a patch later on. In terms of its strong points, I would have to first mention the visuals. The retro PS1 look really gives the game a retro feel that always looks inviting. The game manages to use the setting, visual set pieces, and lighting in a way that not only inspires horror, it inspires mystery too. Secondly, the music and sound design. The music and sound design in this game go hand in hand with the visuals, generating some mysterious and creepy atmosphere that really makes this game an immersive atmospheric horror experience. And last but not least, the story. The story is filled with mystery and it is layered in a way that the mystery feels intriguing until the very end. The story evades overexposition and goes for a subtle approach that is intriguing and easy to understand. In conclusion, Janitor Bleed's only major flaw is its unstable frame rate that hinders the player's experience and that hopefully will be address on a patch. Beyond that, Janitor Bleed's intricate story, visuals, music, and sound design create a mystery horror experience that is expertly executed and that offers horror fans a solid experience that they should not miss out on. For this reason, I recommend Janitor Bleeds. So that's gonna be my non-spoiler review for Janitor Bleeds. In the description is the link for the Steam page and other pages where the game is being sold at. Go check it out and show the developers some love. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hi everyone, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with our content.